Hi, I'm Jeff Hale, founder of J. Hale Music. I've been providing quality archtop guitars and accessories to jazz guitarists around the world since the year 2000. I have a beautiful uh, D'Angelico guitar here I'd like to show to you today. This is made by uh, D'Angelico Guitars of America. It's a Korean-made instrument, <clears throat> and uh, it's model number EXS-1. 16-inch archtop, measures 16 inches across the lower bouts. The body is laminate construction, so the top is uh, oftentimes called solid spruce. It's not carved, but it's a, a laminate top made from three pieces, typically, of uh, solid spruce. And so uh, they're pressed together into a beautiful arch. It gives it a wonderful, warm, mellow tone. It's a good top. Nothing wrong with it. It's excellent. The uh, rims are flame maple. The back <clears throat> is laminate maple back, two pieces, made in, the, uh, in, in a similar fashion, uh, nicely arched. It also has uh, some very nice grain and flame in it. Sometimes the uh, lights in the studio here drown it out on these uh, natural color guitars, but uh, if you want to see some detailed pictures, look on our website. And if you're on the website right now, they're just off here to your right and you can click on them and get some uh, large pictures that are detailed. <clears throat> the, uh, the instrument is fitted with a, uh, a brass tailpiece that uh, it has the stair step design. It has a compensated ebony bridge. We have a uh, floating Kent Armstrong mini humbucker pickup in the neck position with the uh, volume and tone controls here that are mounted on this tortoiseshell type uh, pickguard. Notice that the pickguard also has the, uh, has the uh, stair step type uh, uh, design to it. The fingerboard is ebony, it's 22 frets. Scale length is 25 inches. The width of the neck at the nut is 1 11 sixteenths. We have a three piece maple neck. There's two pieces of, of uh, large pieces of maple with a runner going up the center that makes the third piece. We have an ebony overlay on the back of the headstock and uh, Grover Imperial tuners. Look here on the front, the, the nut, uh, uh, yeah, the uh, truss rod cover. It also has the stair steps type uh, design. And uh, we have a rosewood overlay on the headstock with the abalone inlays here that are typical for D'Angelico. So, real beautiful guitar. Uh, mentioned that the uh, finish is polyurethane. So uh, let's, let's just listen to it acoustically here. We'll pick some single notes. <clears throat> Very nice, warm, uh, mellow acoustic tone. It's quite impressive for a uh, laminate design uh, body guitar. So let's uh, let's play it amplified here a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to be playing through an acoustic image Claris 2R amplifier, which is connected to a uh, Razor's Edge Twin 8 cabinet. So we'll, we'll go over those uh, same sounds. You can hear them uh, uh, amplified. <laughs> sound quite impressive coming from this uh, small mini humbucker so let's uh, let's recap what we have on this guitar it's uh, D'Angelico's model EXS-1 <clears throat> it's a 16 inch archtop guitar uh, laminate construction uh, laminate spruce top with a beautiful pressed arch 
We have flame maple rims with a depth of two and three quarters inches. We have a two-piece laminate maple back, which is nicely figured. <coughs> the uh, traditional D'Angelico stair step brass tailpiece, compensated ebony bridge, which also has a couple of nice mother of pearl inlays here. Uh, floating <coughs> Kent Armstrong design pickup with volume and tone controls that are on this stair step design tortoiseshell type pickup. Ebony fingerboard, <coughs> didn't mention, and you can see the split block inlays here. They're mother of pearl major blocks with a stripe of abalone, which is really beautiful. Uh, scale length is 25 inches, width of the neck at the nut is 1 and 11 sixteenths. Uh, medium to thin profile on, on the neck. The neck is uh, three piece, two major pieces of maple with a center stripe uh, going up the center. <clears throat> Ebony overlay on the back of the headstock. Grover Imperial tuners, which are really nice. And then we have a rosewood overlay on the front of the headstock with the abalone inlays here that are typical of D'Angelico. So, well, this is one great guitar. I'm a fan of these small body arch tops and this 16 inch guitar, uh, you can never have too many guitars and you'd really like to have one of these, I'm sure. Give us a call, we'll talk about it. Thanks a lot.